If you're tired of that same old boring standard outlet or it's just worn out, maybe it's time to upgrade to a USB port outlet. Now these are just your standard outlets, but they've added in USB ports. Well, stick around because in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly step by step the easy way to upgrade your outlet to USB Woo! port outlets. Now you can buy these from stores like Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, even on Amazon. And of course, as always, before we do anything with electricity, we need to isolate the power and shut down that power to that outlet. Now, if you're not sure which circuit breaker on your panel goes to that outlet, watch this handy video right here. I can show you a quick and easy way to isolate that circuit breaker. So let's head out to the circuit breaker panel and shut off the breaker. Now, as always, safety first. Let's just double check. Staying green. It's not flashing orange or vibrating, which means we have isolated power to the outlet. Now that the outlet is safe to work on, we just need to remove the cover. We'll remove the actual outlet. We'll pull it out of the box so we can gain access to all the terminals. Before we unhook anything, it's a good idea just to get a good reference of what's on which side. So the white neutral wires are on our silver screws and our black hots, of course, are on our brass screws here. And of course, we have our ground copper on our green ground lug. So the original installer has used the uh, back wire option, which means they're inserted straight into a lock terminal there. So we're just going to cut as close as we can and we'll restrip these. And of course, remove our ground wire there. So now that our wires are removed, we need to restrip them out. Now it's about three quarters of an inch on each wire. All of our wires are stripped and ready to go on to the new USB outlet. One important thing to note, you had two terminals on each side, as you can see there for hot and neutral. On the new outlet, we're only gonna have two terminals total. On this one, it tells you right on it, hot up top and neutral on the bottom. And we're gonna have to use two wires on the back slot method. Of course, first we wanna hook up our ground onto the green lug as always in a clockwise rotation. We'll hook up our two white neutral wires and they will both go in between two plates. And then we will carefully lock down the terminal screw and then give that a good tighten. Now our white neutrals are installed. It's time to install the black. The two hot wires hook in the same way. Gonna be right behind in between the two plates. It's as easy as that to swap out your regular old outlet into a USB. Everything's wired in, so we'll give it a good pull test. Everything feels tight, so let's push the outlet back into the box. Okay, we've got our outlet lined up, our wires carefully folded into there, making sure the ground does not touch any of the hot wires. And we'll go ahead and tighten it down. We'll give it a quick alignment check with the cover. It actually looks pretty good. Okay, now that the outlet is installed, the only thing left to do is head out to the breaker and flip it back on and let's test it out. Before we check it out, let's put that cover back on. Now I'm gonna check mine out with my ground check AC circuit checker. You can check yours out with a lamp, a vacuum, or anything like that. And I am getting my three, my ground and my two phase. Getting my ground again and my two lines there. And of course we need to check the USB plug. So first let's check the standard plug there. You can see my battery charger is on. And then of course we'll check it with the USB-C type side. So we have successfully upgraded our old boring wall outlet with this new USB dual port charger. So as always, if you found value in this video, please subscribe to the channel here and watch our next video here.